Right ho. Well, that's a bike. The throttle's different. A lot different. Try to play it, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange Probably no surprise to most of you, if you read the comments on my last video, that's an MX-4R controller. And there's the motor. Unlike what I saw on the grit shift video, it's not asking me to calibrate it. It's not in there to pair or calibrate. Anyway. Exit. So, As I've sort of guessed, she actually feels faster than what it was before, but we're still in six kilowatt lane. I've seen some I don't know if I do or don't like this little girl. Oh, I've seen some stuff that leads me to believe that the BMS or the battery can talk with the controller. If it senses, I, think, I don't know if it's 38 you now 37.5 amp hours or 45 amp hours, then it gives you either six or eight kilowatts. So I don't even know if a battery bypass will do anything. The throttle curve has lost a lot of snap now. I had the very early generation. It's actually more, possibly more controllable. Maybe I just need to get used to it. But I had the er, I've got the early generation controller, the one that some people didn't like the throttle on, and it's pretty um, it's pretty on off. This is still good. Looks like I just got myself a flat. Righto, thanks to the flat. Got the um, 
Uh, 7019 Dunlop MX33 on the back. Oh. First impressions, this feels good. Even a little bit of heaps, let's, uh, that feels really good. Let's just check that chain tension. Yep. Let's um, start by saying, talking tires, there's no best. It's what's best for you what suits your riding and budget <laughs> um, options that I see online on YouTube some of them aren't available to me so I went and bought the new front tyre straight away For a rip and tore a valve off the back tyre. Whether I like to admit it or not, this bike's definitely got more go now. Um, without my fat butt on it, it'll spin up to 95, 96 kilometres an hour. So some gearing changes might be in order, but it's definitely it's worth doing what I've done. It's uh, yeah, it's good. You know, I don't change things sort of unless I need to. Upgrade them as I go. But um, this thing's really turning into something that I like. I'm enjoying the throttle curve. It's a little bit milder, but I know when I want wilder, at uh, some time soon, I'm going to go and buy one of these batteries because it doesn't look like uh, the bypass will work with the 8 kilowatt controller. You need the battery. I think the BMS talks to each other and lets it know. Anyway, it's it still rips. I'm smiling for me to hear right now because I've just had a great ride. Uh, a year and a half on. And <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. Anyway, all you guys, uh, hope you're well. Cheers. We'll <laughs> speak to you soon.